What's going on? My name is Ed Stapleton from ClicksGeek. We're a digital marketing agency focused on uh, Google Ads management for businesses. And yesterday I was doing a live talking about how to set up um, recurring payments in your business. So uh, what we do and most of the people we help out uh, in the digital marketing world um, set up monthly recurring payments for their clients to make payment to them. So instead of going around and chasing a check, uh, chasing that invoice, you set up a recurring payment once and you continue to get paid month over month or whatever interval you want that to be. So for us, it's once a month. Uh, it could be weekly. It could be um, could be every other week. It could be literally any other any time frame you want it to be. You can set up. So what I'm going to do today is walk through how to set up that uh, recurring payment. So I'm inside of one of our older um, PayPal accounts that we do not have active at the moment. So um, if you see any numbers or identifying information here, I'm not too worried about that. All right, first things first, you go to pay and get paid. You click on that, come down here, click on PayPal buttons. And um, the beauty of what I'm going to show you right now is you don't even need to actually have a website live in order to set this up. So um, you can, what I'm going to show you is um, this could be set up one of two ways. This could be set up as a button on a website, or you can actually email someone a link and they can make payment on that link. So the way we do it is just via a, a link that you send somebody. So that's how I'm going to show you. So you come to this page, come down. These are all the different ways you can do um, the, the buttons. If you're going to go with something like an invoice, you just come here and you go over to create and manage invoices. That's pretty simple. Uh, but what we're doing is PayPal buttons. You can also go up here to subscriptions, but we, the way we do it is with buttons. So you come down here to subscribe. All right, so button types, you got shopping cart, buy now, donations, subscriptions, automatic billing. You're gonna click subscriptions. So for us, we're gonna type in uh, PPC management. And we're going to type in um, ABC Roofing Company. And what I typically do is just copy this and paste it over here. I have never figured out what a subscription ID actually is. It's optional. So what I do is I just literally copy and paste what I have in this first section. Um, that's what's going to show on the link that you're going to see in a moment. So next thing you're going to do, um, you set it to the currency that you're going to use. Um, we're USD, so I'm using that. There's some different options you can do um, to customize some information here. We don't do any of this. Um, you can have a client pay with a PayPal account if they want. You can make them do that. We don't do that, so we leave that unchecked. The amount um, that each person, uh, the amount that's going to be debited for each billing cycle. So we're going to do uh, $1,000. And then the billing cycle. Um, this is where you can pick whatever time frame you're looking for. So for our instance, it could be once a month. Um, you could also set this to days, weeks, months, years. So um, for a long time, we did it every 30 days. So we'd come down here and we did 30 days. What we found is that doesn't fall on the same calendar day each time. So what we found is doing it once per month um, is, a, is a better model for us at least. Um, keep in mind, you can do subscriptions for literally anything um, where there's an applicable business model. Um, if you're an SEO and you're selling links, or renting links to people, you could do it this way. If you're selling SEO services or PPC management, or Google Ads management services or Facebook services, um, if you're a dog walker, um, you can set up uh, weekly or uh, monthly recurring management payments. If you're a maid service, like there's literally tons of variations of where a um, recurring payment would be applicable. And I love them just because you're not having to chase checks. You get the sign-up process once, and it auto-recurs, and it makes your life a lot easier. So after how many uh, billing cycles? Um, we're going to set it to, to, to never uh, to never end, and you could set it to whatever, whatever you want. Um, if it's only a 12-month thing, you can put 12 months. If it's six months, whatever it is you want to do, you can do. Um, if you wanted to offer, let's say, a dollar trial on this, and you wanted to do... A dollar trial for the first two weeks. Uh, you do this, one dollar. Define the trial period, days. We're going to go with um, 14 days. You can do that. You can do two weeks. So you can get creative with how you do it. 
You can also do something we've done in, in some niches is a uh, one month dollar trial. So they pay a dollar up front and that is um, to get their credit card on file and to get them um, you know, committed to the payment. And um, after that 30 days of whatever the services that you've offered and they're happy and they're staying, it auto recurs to the full a monthly amount. So that's an option. Um, that's a cool thing you can do. Next thing you're going to do is I just leave this for use my secure merchant uh, account ID. Um, I don't touch the this portion and I don't touch this portion. Um, so you're just going to leave those two. I'm going to go back here, click that. Then I'm going to go to create button. I got someone calling in right now. I have no idea who that is. All right, this is what I wanted to show you. So if um, if you wanted to put this button on your website, you would copy and paste this code right here. Uh, but since we're not, you would literally just go like this and you're going to copy that like I just did. You are going to open up a private browser. Just I want to show you what this looks like. I'm going to drop the browser in or drop the uh, the link in. Accept those cookies. The person is going to continue as a guest and oh, I don't know why I'm actually seeing this. So let me Give me one second here. Let me figure out why this is actually happening. So I've got this copied and pasted. Let's open up another tab. Let's see. Da, 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 da. It should just be a payment window. But it might be different because I'm logged in at the moment. There you go. So this is what they're going to say. So, um... It's going to show the payment amount. And if you want to do this, you want to pay with the debit card. It's going to give you the option to check out. So this person can check out with a, um, a PayPal, card, uh, PayPal account or a credit card. And that's it. It's really simple. That's all you got to do. Um, the whole process, what is this? We're, we're seven minutes into a video, and this is me showing you how to do it. But um, I can set up a new one of these in about 60 seconds. Um, so it's a really easy process. Um, we use it, and we have used it for a long period of time, going on five-plus years, six years. Uh, we love it. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you guys have any questions on how to set this up, just let me know. And that's it. Have a great day. Again, this is Ed from Clicks Geek. Um, if you like this, subscribe to the channel. Give us a like. And that's it. Have a great day. See you. Bye.